He is, I believe. Yeah. Did he get like funds for that or something? Uh, yeah. Everyone from or a bunch of people from DBA had to raise. I think it was like 500 bucks. And, I and the Smash Brothers came through. Of course, man. We're just a big family here, helping each other out, getting each other out there to those amazing opportunities. Can't wait to see what he's doing there because he's been doing some work here. He has, dude. He just got number two on the PR, making a huge statement, just, jumping up nine Just spots. behind Pinkfresh. Yeah, who has not moved. That yeah. dude's been number one for a while. Uh, uh, a bit now. Been here for a moment. And he just got picked up by Smash Studios. Re yeah, recently, uh, well, last did, month, yeah. in August, I believe, right? Yes, uh, yeah. like right after SmashCon ended, he was picked up by Smash yeah. Studios. PB &J. Excellent <laughs> pickup by them, might I add. Yeah, PB and J picked him up mad quick, alongside Mr. E. I mean, he's had a mystery for a while, though. But now Zephyr here, Cloud Main, number 10 on the PR, jumped up six spots himself, sending home a message as well. He wants to beat... He wants to beat this man. Yeah, he these two have Waddy. played many times, Wadi, having the uh, positive lead over him. Oh, yeah. But this might be Zeph's day. He was behind in the beginning of the match, but now has been able to bring himself back up a little bit. He has a limit online with all that rage built up. He can potentially get the stock first here. Definitely, but Wadi's you know, keeping him off, off stage, trying to keep his cool. And miss spacing there with the on the way back, on the way back down. Yep. Just an unfortunate way to lose your stock there. Wadi taking the lead. I mean, when you get that grab down throw into forward air, like, you're just Dunskis. Now we see Zephyr charging up his limit just a little bit, trying to close out the stock against Wadi as soon as he can before he racks up too much damage. Yeah, he's trying to just push Wadi in that corner, but Wadi finding his way to break himself out, getting some decent damage along the way. Okay, see Wadi approaching with that neutral air, trying to keep Zephyr out just a little bit more. He's got a full Shadow Ball on deck, but then just kind of blows he's his load a little bit too not, early. Not afraid to throw him out, man. He knows he's always just going to get another one. Mm -hmm. You know, him charging that Shadow Ball is similar to Cloud Charging Limit, where you're in this awkward situation where do I approach and try to challenge it, or do I just let him have it, you know, and worry about how, how I can make him burn it? These guys are playing the safest neutral right now, not committing to too much. But now this could be really good for Zephyr. He's got him above him. And now off stage, where's he going? Back on, catches nice. him with that up air. Nice stuff, trying to close out the stock here. Wadi being so smart with his landing options. This guy jumps in, wow, that blade beam almost clipping Wadi. Is, it like tapped his tail towards the end there, but few 2 overall came out fine from it. It was not very effective. Nah, unfortunate. Cloud has no weaknesses, he has sword. Okay, so he's gonna power shield that shadow ball. Trying to get something going with that dash attack. Wadi taking up to racking up to a lot of damage without losing a stock. Hits him with that tail. He was waiting for some action whatsoever. Zephyr wasn't giving it to Man. him, and then he just got hit. If Zephyr was a little like friskier there, he probably would have gone for a forward air. Yeah. But at the same time, probably not making it back to the stage anyway. He wasn't feeling frisky enough, man. I feel like every time he lands, Zephyr lands a full cross slash, you need to be like 19 damage. Let's go, Austin. No, 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 no. 19, no, 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 no. 19 damn it. Dude, 19's not as much as 30. <laughs> I, I, I know statement. that. True fact. That's like an 11% difference. <laughs> Excellent. We know He's that also not throwing a rock at him, okay? Like, and not breaking it with his skull. All right, so you know, Wadi looking to end his life like right off the oh, bat. Oh, oh, got that footstool combo coming in hard from Wadi. But then kind of kind of messes it up he a little bit. I got hype for no reason because he messed it up. He's going for the infinite, which I is, know. You know, is hype in it, itself. It's hype. It's tough. I, I just feel like I wasted hype there, though, because I I, I got blue-balled by him, dude. Don't worry. I got, that's exactly what happened. I wanted to see the infinite. If I know one thing about you is that there's never a low supply of hype in you. Apologies. <laughs> <laughs> I just I get so excited. So we see Zephyr, you know, coming in here, throwing out a dash attack, trying to keep Wadi out. That was cute. Nice command grab at the ledge. I like that. Covers uh, a lot of options for when they're trying to cover your ledge grabs. Definitely. But then Wadi keeping Zephyr out of his zone because he was in a very scary situation against Cloud with Limit on the edge of the stage. That's asking for a cross slash. Oh! oh and there it just is. Just as I say it. He might live? No. He got commanded. He tried to DI there, but it was not enough. Mewtwo being extremely light. This counter pick to go back to FD seems to be working out for Zephyr. Because he's like, it wasn't the stage. It was me. I'm, I'm mixing it up now. Yeah, he seems to be making the adjustments right now. It's just a Mewtwo main. This is an Abadango. I don't care. Go see Zephyr running away. He almost has Limit on deck. And as I say that, it is now online. Catching him rolling. Just the option coverage right there. There's very little Zeph could have done to be safe there. 
The thing is, like, when you're up against a Mewtwo that has a fully charged Shadow Ball, and you're right in front of him and you roll, that's asking for a Shadow Ball. So you gotta be super careful about that. And now he's out of jumps, I believe. Never, never mind. Now he is! Ooh, uh, he's almost gonna get back. got the spike hitbox, which would have been. Ooh. But now we got Genkai on deck. So we can get something going here. Tries to go oh, for the cross slash. Good punish from Wadi. Early. Plenty of guys know that problem. You know, when you got the tail that long, you're able to, you know, hit him with that down tilt from very far away, even after getting shielded from a cross slash, limit break style. A reverse neutral air coming from Wadi. Trying Wadi to find an opening. He found it. Unable to continue the string there, only getting two solid hits. To this double backflip. Not sure. I mean, maybe he just thought he was going to do the, do the blade beam to the hey, left man. side. Who knows? Regardless, he didn't get punched for it. Great Ooh, pivot grab. No, knowing he's going to try to mix up, knowing Wadi was going to hold the shield. Wadi trying so oh, hard to make it back to the stage and bring himself back into this. Zephyr has such a high lead right now with that limit, just terrifying Wadi. He's at the moment. jumping all over the place, man. Look at him. He's jumping, he's somersaulting, he's double jumping. Yeah, he's, he's just challenging him to drop his shield. He, he wants him to do something. A defensive reaction. Ooh. Wow! Hitting him with that forward air above the shadow ball. Taking Wadi game two from Wadi? to go for like the hottest combo 2016. But just got slapped out of the way with the forward air. Zephyr saying, calm down. Level one limit break braver. This is coming not, in hot. This is not the training room. You can't make up combos and put them on Twitter <laughs> and have everyone retweet them and love them. Is, is he treating Zephyr like a training dummy? Is that, what, is that what you're claiming? Not anymore. Not, not after anymore. That. But now we're going to Lilac Clu uh, Lilac Cruise. Lilac Cruise coming in hot. So clouds either love or hate the stage. Majority of clouds hate the stage because Personally as a cloud, I love this stage because mm -hmm. cloud can't recover anyway. Yeah. So but that's a good way to think about it, you know? Yeah. Because like the actual layout of the stage with the three platforms are wondrous for cloud, which is why you see oh, players definitely. like Mewtwo King counterpick here a lot. But then once you're off stage, sometimes the stage can just go yeah, yeah, just up a little bit and slippy and pilot he'd be like, ah, you're losing this stuff. Yeah, you're done so. I see Zephyr off stage with a limit break. Doesn't matter, just coming in with a strong up air, leading into an up tilt. Great rag Tomahawk coming from Zephyr, catching him, just kind of standing there with the shield. I think he's a little bit in Wadi's head. Wadi definitely lost momentum to Zephyr here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, closest match wow! Up, and he caught him jumping up over the ledge there, was not able to snap on and grab it. He knew he was going to jump there, man. He knew. He knew he wasn't going to go for the ledge. I imagine why he was looking for, like, you know, a side B there or something, but Zep just calling it out, taking out that stock. Excellent stuff to him. Now, has a pretty solid lead so far. Pretty, as you say that, dude, we see a Shadow Ball coming right into his face, point was, blank. Was able to make it back with his limit. Wadi getting a little frisky there with that disable. See Zephyr hitting with that dash attack. Let's see if we can do something to him off stage here. Wadi playing super scared. Get back onto the stage. Oh, that Absolutely. could have been Let's, dangerous. But then but he walks into it! It was dangerous anyway. No, he buffered it. He buffered it. No. Congrats to Zephyr.